Tommy by Ralph at number 31 on my fantasy playlist, February 13th, 2022. This is Dean Kirk resuming countdown of the fantasy playlist of that date, February 13th, 2022. Tommy by Ralph discovered this song on Spotify last summer and put it on, put it on my fantasy playlist uh, several months ago. I wasn't too, I wasn't taken, I wasn't quite sold on the record at first. I just knew there was something there. But it has grown on me over the months, particularly over the past over the past five or six weeks. I've been growing more and more attached to the record, particularly, too, after I did some research on the artist and the making of the video this morning. And I thought, man, you know, this song is special in its own way. And the song, Tommy, this is a very universal record. This, this could be a hit, a top ten hit literally all over the world, if given enough airplay, enough promotion, um, could be top 10 in Australia, England, New Zealand, the United States, Canada, Scandinavia. It's a universal theme. It's about meeting a very attractive stranger. Don't know this person for the first time at a party. And the eye contact is electric. The chemistry has fallen into place. The gleaming smiles. This person is oozing charisma, and you're just bathing in this charisma. You're lofted into the stratosphere, into a, into a stratosphere of ecstasy, and felt in an aura of ecstasy. That's what I was trying to say. And you're just, man, this meeting is just great. There is so much possibilities in this meeting when you meet this person. In this case, it's Tommy. But oh, my, my golly, it just falls apart. It just, nothing comes out of it. That's it. A one-off meeting that had such a promising start, but a road to nowhere. Or was it the bridge to nowhere or something like that? It was a dead end. And she's frustrated. She's frustrated. She's regretful. But it's not over the top. It's almost kind of playful listening to this record. It's got, it's, the song is ornamented with a glistening, a bright glistening guitar inserted at strategic places, at strategically across a rhythm track, a fectuous rhythm track. Steady drum beat, kind of a laid back rhythm track, mid temple ish middle uh, rhythm track rather. And uh, her voice just glides effortlessly across this. In other words, it's an earworm. It's just, just it burrows into your head and it stays there. It's found its home. And it, it's, it's, an, it's a nice added collection to your, to your music, to your music library. This song, oh, by the way, her real name is Rafa. R-A-F-F-A. I might have mispronounced her first name. Wyman, W-E-Y-M-A-N. She's from Canada. And uh, when she grew up, she was into visual arts. And it comes into play when she makes this video, when she made the video to this song. And you can get it on YouTube. Now, she wanted to write a song. Here's how this song came about. She wanted to write a song around the name. The name will be the hook. Inspired by songs like Cecilia by Simon and Garfunkel, great storytelling song, Sarah by Fleetwood Mac, Rhiannon by Fleetwood Mac, Lola by the Kinks, stories that are built around the character, the name. She teamed up with a producer, Derek Hoffman, and he was on board. They, they played around with some names, some, some uh, male names for a while, and they came up with Tommy because it fit it fits so nicely into the rhythm scheme. Tommy, do you want me? Tommy, do you love me? And that's how that song came about. Tommy by Ralph. Just, man, this is, this is an adorable record. I, I guess I had my doubts about it for a while, but it's such a catchy record. That's all there is to it. Got that great guitar in there, too. The video, the video, do it yourself. Man, it's great. She looks lovely in the video too. Some funny dance, some some great dancing. It's a type of funny, a humorous video, sort of putting a humor, a, a, a serious subject, with a uh, humorous overlay in the video. 
She dresses up as Mary Antoinette. Glamorous. The glamour side of 18th century French aristocracy. Well, before the French Revolution coming to play, she's wearing these six-pound wigs. And uh, it's just, well, it's a fun video to watch. Just a fun video to watch. She assembled a creative team of her own to make this video. Her brother participated in the making of this video. A cousin participated. One of her best friends directed the video. She pulled in. She uh, roped in her own stylist. Part of that creative art. She's, she's constantly busy. She likes to stay busy. Likes to stay busy. Nice video. Oh, let me read you a couple of lines. I almost forgot to do this. Uh, see, what I like about... I know this is gonna sound this is gonna sound cheesy. You're gonna say, "My God, this is the cheesiest damn thing I've ever heard." Oh, did I say the D word? <laughs> Can I say that on YouTube? <laughs> well, anyway, the, the 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 lyrics to this record are so innocuous. There's an innocence there that kind of reminds me a little bit of the, of the late '50s and early six of the early and early '60s, and you don't hear lyrics like this that often. Well, these days. But anyway, quote, unquote, couple of lyrics. Wonder if you saw me staring. I feel so embarrassed. Now, how many of us go through that? We all go through that. I just love your hair and the way you run your hair, run your hands through it. Quote, unquote. That line there right there reminds me of Cookie, Cookie, Lend Me Your Comb, which came out back in 1959. Another song that comes to mind, Put Your Hand on My Shoulders by Paul Anka. Just this classic kind of uh, shy, lovey-dovey lyrics. And also uh, kind of reminds me a little bit of warm, Warmed Over Kisses, I believe, by Brian Hyland back in the early 60s. Uh, more recently, I was thinking of another song that kind of reminds me of it, The, the, the Five, The Five. The five of this record. Uh, thinking about uh, Kiss Me on the Phone or Kissing on the Phone or something like that by Soldier Boy back in the late 2000s. I believe it was by Soldier Boy. But, uh, whoo, boy, I tell you. She was, she was influenced by Cher, Kate Bush, Donna Summer. She put out an EP, I believe, back in 2017. It might it might have been more recent, more recent than that. Basically about a, about a meeting somebody and just sum it up, the chemistry clicks, but it turns into a missed opportunity. Now, how frustrating is that? How universal is that? The formats for this record, the formats, radio formats that this song could fit into easily, pop, adult contemporary, adult top 40, although I guess there's a fine line between those, those formats. Basically, it's a mass appeal record. I dubbed this a mass appeal record. <laughs> Ralph at number 31 with Tommy on my fancy playlist, February 13th, 2022. This is Dean Kerr signing off.